we have added the database we have added the entity models now it is time to add the MD classes so that model validation is attached right from the start because we'll be dealing with data entry data editing so it is better to include the validation classes also right now at the start what do we have this is the diagram that we have at present TBL orders it is a it is connected to TBL products and TBL users will not be editing TBL products at all at all because we are just treating that it is something fixed it's not a part of our project to edit or remove products that modules those modules we haven't included so we have to now tackle this and this we'll be definitely editing or adding new orders we'll be editing or adding new users also so we need to add annotation classes for both the tables since both these models are generated by the EDM we'll need MD classes to add the validation we cannot add validation directly to the TBL order or TBL user classes because they are generated by the Visual Studio and will be overwritten once you compile the project or rebuild the project through Visual Studio we'll proceed one by one in case you are not clear about MD classes you will have to go through the lectures that I've given earlier assuming that you know those concepts since we are brushing up all those concepts through this project let us now see we have added TBL order and class to the entity models folder it has to go to the same namespace in which your in which your EDM generated class called TBL user resides TBL user is in the namespace IVM dot entity models and to the same namespace uh, I'll have to just give it the correct name here this is IVM project so the namespace has to be same otherwise this partial will not work correctly it will treat it as a separate class and annotations won't get linked to TBL order so this is one of the things that we have to always take a precaution this is TBL order I'll click this one this is namespace IVM project dot entity models and TBL order and IVM project dot entity models now I'll add these properties one by one there are these five or six properties I'll add these properties one by one to TBL order and and also apply the annotations to them I'll fold this and now I can start typing here first one is the invoice amount this will be a required field because of this the range will be 1000 to 1 lakh and uh, regular expression to ensure that it is actually a number that has been added so if something has been added it has to be a number and it has to fall between 1000 and 1 lakh and it is required next next I've added for product code foreign key it is required 
because this is likely to come from a drop down list and to this drop down list we'll add first choose like thing and its value will be set to empty and software will have a value as laptop L and so on but this choose will be added uh, these will be derived from the database but this will be added manually by us to the list that comes from the database and the value associated with this one will be an empty one so that in case the user doesn't select anything the value will show as empty and this one will fire this is a novel way of uh, adding validation to a drop down list then id auto primary key scaffold column false because we won't like it to participate in the data shuttling process so we have kept it false here and then you have for the date also order date format string is ddmmyy we are likely to use a calendar for this when editing it and therefore we have added a format to it or at least when it is displayed the order date is displayed in the correct format dd triple mmyy which is the indian format so according to that we have done if you are from some other country you can use your own format string for it so this is our annotations that are required those that are required have been added here now we'll similarly add an annotation for tbl user right click add class tbl user uh, something is wrong with the keyboard here tbl user n and we'll click add and now we'll begin to add annotations to this class okay here we begin we have to add a class tbl user md and the metadata type attribute has been added to tbl user n now this class has to be a partial class we'll just now add that partial here but let us first of all do this required this one applies to the i'll just scroll it this is applying to customer email a rough explanation it is a required one length 50 characters this remote we later on add a action to our home controller inside the admin area which we'll add later on this action method will tell whether the user already exists in the database or not so this will be a validation as soon as you are trying to create a new user it will fire here by querying just in time that the user already exists try something else the error message regular expression and error message will be just email question mark sufficient to explain the thing uh, when using regular expression be sure that either this is escaped here or an at the right is there here if at the right is put here then don't put double here it should be single here here in this case we have already escaped it here so we are not putting any at the rate here similarly for uh, we'll scroll it down customer name customer name is required must be less than 100 characters and for 
customer phone also we have a required must be less than 50 characters and it must be a number here we'll have to add public partial if uh, these annotations don't work in your case you will have to add these system dot component model dot at annotations using at the top so we have added annotations to three fields customer phone customer name and customer email with this our annotations are in place and we are ready to go to our next stages so let us see where we are in terms of our ebook we have added the database we have added the entities MD class for TBL orders and MD class for TBL users has been added menu can be used to fold it upwards so this we added just now next we shall move to Facebook login button in our next lecture thanks